Mr. Beast has recently come under fire from one of his childhood friends and co-hosts being accused of grooming and possession of inappropriate art. In recent days, a series of pictures and tweets have come out showing the interaction Ava Chris Tyson had with a 13-year-old Mr. Beast fan who won a competition, causing them to resign from all things Mr. Beast. The fan's name is Lava GS, and you can see the tweets ranging from the year 2018 to 2019, making him around 13 to 14 years old at the time. Before his transition to female in 2023, Ava had a wife and a child. These pictures detail tweets showing the crazy interaction between the two, with Chris saying he posted some fire nudes for Lava, and Lava calling Chris his dad. Chris is also shown here saying, I love you. Lava GS even went to go visit Chris and Mr. Beast. He's shown here in the pictures with his face blurred out, of course, but this was back when he was a minor still. Lava GS would later come out to say that these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. It doesn't stop there, though. Ava also is coming under fire for a few other tweets, showing him fawning over a drawn CP picture of Kai. Uh, he just ruined my childhood. Not only that, but look at this tweet of him replying to CP art of twins. I'd also later go on to beg an artist by the name of Shadman, who is notorious for drawing CP art, to draw a picture of a nine-year-old girl for him. And not only that, he had a drawing that Shadman had already made, and it was seen here hanging in his living room. And yes, that is Mr. Beast looking directly at it. The child's father, who goes by the name of Keemstar on Twitter, even put out a tweet calling out Chris Tyson for asking for a drawing of his eight-year-old girl from Shadman. Here he is in the tweet. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me, manipulated me, and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. You, you just leaked your address. Please end your stream as well as other technical back-end things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway, and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners, and he would use this NSFW bot to spam different corn images. Is there an FBI raid going on? What's happening? My name's Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done.